So I'm having a little trouble finding one of the um, sprinkler valves on, on the system. It's a really good controller. Uh, number two is kind of intermittent. Sometimes when I turn on number two, it'll work and sometimes it doesn't work. So I'm trying to find the valve box itself so I can check out. And um, to do that, you just have to look down here to number two. This wire brings the power to number two. And it could be a loose connection, but also I'd like to just kind of find out where the valve is. And to do that, you can pull the wire three from the controller and you can hook up this cool little device to it that will turn on and off the solenoid, which makes a noise and you can help help you find it. Sometimes those valve boxes are buried a little bit underneath the soil. So here's the little device. It's kind of expensive. It's about 50, 50 bucks, I think. It's called a chatter box. And one end goes to the red wire that's bringing power. This one to valve, bringing power to that solenoid. And the other one is going to go up in here. So the power is going to come out. It's going to go through this device into here. It'll send power over to the solenoid. The solenoid, you know, it's just it's an electromagnet. And when it activates, it creates a strong magnetic field and it pulls this, this plunger up. But when it pulls it up, it does make a kind of a clicking sound like that. You'll hear that kind of a sound. It's under spring tension, but it's such a strong magnet, it'll pop up. So this thing basically is going to turn on and off that amount of voltage. And that'll make this magnet uh, pull this plunger. It'll click and then the spring will knock it back and it'll pull again, click, it'll click, 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 and that'll help us find it. Piece of copper wire, I'm going to put it up into where that where this wire used to go inside that controller. Get up in there nice and snug. All right, and I'm going to put this one to controller. I'll get a clip. Put the other one to valve. And I'm going to turn on that station. And you should get a light coming on, meaning that power is flowing through there. If you don't get a light, that could mean that there's maybe a broken wire somewhere. So that is working. Now we can go look for that valve, see if we can hear it. It's all hooked up. Let's take a look. This is station two. It's a perimeter. It goes all the way around this front hill. And that's the first valve on number two. Usually when it starts, that one goes, you can hear the clicking. So that valve is right here. In fact, yeah, I never, never had found it before, but now with that clicking, it's right here. This is number two. Now I can fix it. That's super cool. I don't know if you guys can hear that clicking. That's that valve going on and off. Very cool. So when you're looking for valves, usually they're located near the very uh, sprinkler head where the station is. And oftentimes they're located nearby the house or the structure. Like this is for station number three, there's the valve. And these are the sprinkler heads for station number three. This is station number two pretty close to the house, and there's the valve number two. So the Chatterbox is a really cool device. You can get them on eBay. This is the pro level one, so it has a little bit stronger of a sound and it has a little LED, and it's about 36 bucks.